Hey everybody, it's Andrew Taylor. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how to get from an STL file in Tinkercad to any one of your 3D printer drivers uh, for a desktop 3D printer. Um, so with Tinkercad open, I've just got this little model called Mr. Fish. Uh, Mr. Fish was made by user Chuck Norris. Um, so I think it's a great little guy. Um, so I want to 3D print him. I want to 3D print him on a MakerBot and also a Cubify. So within Tinkercad, once I'm through with the model, I'm going to go over here to Design, Download for 3D Printing. And for our purposes, you can ignore these two files. Um, an OBJ is another 3D printing file, but it's usually associated with textured files. So um, color and high resolution files um, would be great with OBJ. For our purposes, we're just going to use an STL. An STL is just a standard uh, 3D printer file. Now when we download it, just click on it. Uh, don't click on the file itself because if you, if, if you click on the file itself to open it like double clicking um, That'll actually confuse the computer because it thinks it's something else It doesn't know what the file is supposed to be associated with so let's just click show and finder or if you're on Win if you're on Windows It's just um, find that window for your downloads and If you look here, here's my copy of mr. Fish oops And if I if I just do a little preview, I have an a for Autodesk um, icon associated with it, you probably won't unless you have A3DP downloaded. A3DP is essentially uh, the 123 Autodesk 123 d um, 3D print driver and um, it's just another way to get from 123D to a MakerBot or Cubify. But for ours we're gonna go for Tinkercad um, so don't be confused by this. Mine just has this icon because I have another program downloaded. Yours might just have a blank piece of paper or it may not have an icon, but as long as it says .stl, you're good. So the name of the file is .stl. So now what I want to do is say, for example, Cubify. If I go into the cube, so cube driver, I've got a blank little screen here, blank little platform. Just click import and it'll open up the appropriate folder. So for ours, it's still in downloads. Open copy of Mr. Fish. Open. Is it in inches? Sure. And there you go. There's our Mr. Fish. And from here, you can actually heal it, orient, scale, center, build. Uh, and you can amend this um, model to print however size you want to do it or in whatever orientation. If you're using Makerware, uh, it's the same process, except a little bit different lingo. We're just going to click Add, and then Add when this when this uh, window pops up. Again, copy of Mr. Fish. Open. Uh, let's move it to Platform. And because MakerWare actually is, uh, knows that it's in metric, it scales it appropriately. But for our purposes, I just want to make it bigger so that you can see it. So again, you can make it the you can make it the size of the orientation um, that you desire. So, just to recap, uh, the file itself, the .stl file, is not associated with um, any particular software. So if you just double click it, it's gonna the computer is gonna get confused and it's not gonna open it. It'll actually open it either as a text file or a security trust file, um, and you can't 3D print. A security trust file so always import from the print driver and that should do it if you have any questions uh, just put them in the comments below we'll get back to you thanks